nothing has really fallen off on me. Now. And that's Lego for you. Lego, you guys are amazing. Oh, I should have drew deer like a puppet fish, not like a robot. Sorry, deer. Why am I like a robot? Because you're supposed to be sweet from the Ninjago series. Money, 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 money. Money. Okay, this thing's so cool. I'm just like, wee. How many pieces is this? Holy moly. Tree is blocking my face. So welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and today we're looking at this huge monstrosity. I know I promised, like, way back six months ago, five months ago, when I first started this channel, I would review the set to that one subscriber who asked for it. I'm so sorry I took this long to do it. I had no idea. Time's flying so fast. But now is the time. So here is Lego's Ninjago City. 70620. 4,867 pieces. Live life like a ninja with this bad boy. This thing is so massive. On that camera, you can't even see the whole thing. And on this camera, I had to kind of go wider again so you can kind of see where the top is. This is very intimidating to actually review more than it is to build. I keep rotating this thing, it's so much fun. Look at that. There's so much stuff going on in here. That's so amazing. I hope I'm not missing any pieces. It's been a while since I took this set out. I know I was doing Lego Creators before, like all the city stuff, and I came in at a good time because they announced this and I saw the photo, and I'm like, this is so different. I really wanna get this and I really wanna try it out. And I do not regret buying it. If you guys have seen it and you don't like Ninjago, I suggest you just keep watching this video because you'll probably go out and buy it after I review it. Seriously, this thing is so crazy. It's really, really good. Now it has three books, three books, because you have a lot to build. And you know, if you get it, read the story inside because the designers have like a couple pages of Q&A, why they designed it, how they did it. And they want you to create your own story out of it or follow along with the movie. Of course, I have no idea about the Ninjago series at all. I don't know anything about them. I don't know about the cartoon. I don't, didn't watch the movie yet. I know I should go watch it. And I just bought this because I love the look of it. It's so crazy looking. So now the way they designed it from the bottom up is that you know each tier has like a different vibe to the city. So you have like old school Japanese style on the bottom and it kind of goes to the mid range in the middle, slightly upper class. And then you go to the modern city. So crazy. You guys who designed this, you're amazing. I'm just like flabbergasted when I see it. Water tiles, amazing. Like, the whole back here, if I rotate it around. That is so cool when I was putting this together. Like, oh, I love the idea that they have a water tile here. Should I take each level off? Maybe I should take each level off. Yeah, let's take each level off. Yeah, you guys are excited to see this fall apart, right? Can this come off? Oh yeah, it can, there we go. Don't drop it, Scotty. Oh, my hands are shaking now. There we go, okay. And you guys can see me a lot better now. Look, so many things come off it. So we're gonna just Take this off layer by layer. By the way, I can stare at the water plate all day. The water is just amazing. They put plants everywhere, and they put little lily pads, and little froggies, nice touch. And you got like a little place here to park your boat. They have a boat that comes with a set. The boat can come under the bridge. Yeah, your kids can play with the set. It won't fall apart. It's so, so really well built. I love this thing. So the first room here is the robot's room. His name is Sweet, by the way. This is kind of like the maintenance room, I guess water piping where the robot lives and next to that you have this little shop this is so awesome like i love this part those are crowbars when i was putting it together i was like okay that's cool it's all straight like that and then they say you're supposed to like kind of let it sit down so it has a little bend there that is so good like who would have ever known a crowbar can actually make a roofing tile i love that thinking i wouldn't be able to think like that i can't think like that it's like a little fish market here you got some fish and some crab and then on the back side here you got a little alleyway and a walkway where your characters can walk along. And all the posters and the signs, they have like really weird language. They can be deciphered in the, in the manual, you have the language there. I'm not gonna decipher it for you guys. You guys can put it in the comments if you want and I'll pin it so people can understand what all these posters mean in what order. Got these little things, the speakers on the side. I'm not quite sure what these represent. I guess it's like a loudspeaker. And I do like the bridge. The bridge is pretty awesome. Look at that. Got the neon sign. I want more of these. I need more of these. These are so interesting. You got the elevator here and it's just by hand, but it does really work. You have to make sure each level is completely flushed down. If it's not, it might get kind of stuck a little bit. And anyway, working elevator, awesome. And I have a little control panel here for the elevator too. So above the maintenance room, you have this other room here. I like the roofing, look at the roofing here. That is really, really cool. What is that, solar panels? This is like a little bedroom. Look at that sliding door. You got a little sliding door there. Sliding door, nice and snug. 
other companies, learn from this. And you got like a tatami bed type thing in there. And you got a little TV and it says, good day, Ninjago. Details, awesome. I love that. And that is a sticker, by the way. And then you have the window, very Asian style. That's very cool. And then the room across there above the fishing room is a tea room. Oh, this tea room is so cool. I love how they do the balcony. This reminds me of the Chinatown sets, you know? I'll get to those ones soon too, don't worry. A perfectly working sliding door again. And look inside there. There's a sticker as well. These are all stickers, by the way. But I like the poster. It's neat. This is a tea room. Awesome tea room. Awesome design. I like it a lot. You know what's funny here in the tea room? There's this pot in the corner with a wig on it and it's green. But is that supposed to be a tree? It's pretty creative if it is or if it's just a wig. And you'll notice that they have like little little ways that you can get into the rooms. They have little walkways and ladders and you're supposed to be a ninja. You're supposed to be able to jump from one room to the other room. All right, so there you go. That's kind of like the first second floor-ish kind of thing. Let's move on to the next floor. What is it, the third floor? One, two, I guess third floor, yeah. Let's call it the third floor. Don't fall down, please. Look at the details on, look at all the signages on there. So this is more like the shopping district area, I guess. I think this is one of my favorite floors and it's not because of the shop details. I mean, the other stores you'll see later, they're really, really cool. What I love about this is the function, like who came up with this idea? You guys are amazing. I keep saying that, but I'm gonna keep saying it. That's so cool with the little touches. First of all, on this side here, when you come up the walkway, there's like little movie posters here. You know, you can swap those out. That's genius. Look at this. You open, you just kind of like pull that apart. Yeah. You slide this one out, take one out. There's a little door here on this side. Move the little door here. Back here, you push this down. Look at that. Three more stickers here. Even though they're stickers, they're still really cool. You can choose which poster you want to put. You got this coming soon gladiator. And then, I don't know, that the language. You guys want to translate these posters right now? One looks kind of like a Godzilla thing. And then there's one that's just tired of walking. But that is so amazing. I love the fact that you can have, you can choose your poster. I like the Godzilla one. We're going to put the Godzilla looking one back. Close the door up. And let's work our way along here to this crab shop. This is, I'm just gonna say this is so amazing every single time. I can't stop looking at it. Even though it's so different from a modular city, I would still consider it like part of one. And I think you guys, just go out and buy it already, it's so good. Okay, let's continue, let's look on the inside here. Yeah, you got this restaurant inside here. And you got some tools along the top. The chef has to use like a mad hammer and this crazy saw to cook. And you got some drawers down below and inside the drawers you have some bananas. And they have this machine here, this is great. This is really cool, let's see if I can figure this out. If you open it up, there's an uncooked crab. Now on the back, there's a little handle here, a little technique thing going on. And you can just rotate it and it'll flip to the other side. And then you open it and it's a cooked crab. I love playing tricks with my friends. They're like, what is that? And I'm like, just, just look here, just look, just look. See, it's an uncooked crab. And now we have a cooked crab. And they all freak out and they're like, no way. I'm like, yes, that's right, no way. I would have never have thought of that idea in the first place. That is genius, that is so good. You know what, it's so small. I'm gonna go over to this camera and zoom in a little tighter so you can see it better. <sighs> I just noticed that thing on my shirt. Sorry if it was bothering you guys. The sign is in the way, I'm gonna just fold it down. Got an ATM machine and it's working. ATM machine, money spits out of it. I was like, <gasps> They have a thing here on the back. You know, you just push it. Wow, look at that. 100, that is so satisfying. And another 100. If you wanna put the money back, you just simply take off the front here. Money stash there. That's a stash of money. Look at the detail on the side of the restaurant here. You have like, these were empty and you actually have to put the little studs inside or little circles. It just stands out, it's so, this is really insane how they just made up, made this thing, it's just crazy. And then over here on this side, you have a comic book toy shop. So it does come apart as well. You can take the upper part off and you can look inside here. Look at that, look at all the little things in there. You got all these little tiny mini figures. You got all these little extra tiles, stickers on them. And they're like comic books, star for, that is amazing. And you got these little, I don't know what these are, toys. I guess you can buy, I guess this is a minifigure shop. You can buy minifigures in there. And then on the upper floor here, like this is like a shelving piece. You got like guns and frogs and wizardry, kind of magical looking things. And a cat sticker that says, believe. Is that a meme? No, I'm not sure. Even after looking at all that, I'm still overwhelmed. Even after having the set, it's just fun to break out again. This is so cool. I love it. Gonna put this back on and we're gonna take out the other parts. Look at that tree, that tree looks so pretty. Take this off. Look at how many pieces come off. This is crazy. I think this tree represents something from the movie. I'm sorry I haven't seen it. I'll get to it. 
but it must be something very important. But this is so pretty. Pop out stuff, pop out 3D stuff. I love that, look at that. It's popping out, whoa. The detail on that is just so good, I love it. It's just like a branch that pops out. It's nothing really on the inside of it. And there's a walkway that goes into the shop. Look at that. This is like a costume clothing shop. You got a skateboard with a small ramp here. Look, they have stickers here that looks like iPhones, telephones. These are like Raiden Mortal Kombat hats. Yeah. Stick on just fine, look at that. Very cool. A lot of little hats in here. All different, they varied it up. They didn't repeat it. Oh, these things look terrible there. Let's take that off. But it's really awesome, they varied it up inside there. Look at that, wow, there's so many different types of hats in there. And then you got these mannequins in the windows, the display. The display is just so good. The design is just so whacked out, it works out, it works really well. I think it looks amazing, you know, now that I look at it more. Like, this was so much fun to build. You got some boats, look, you got some toy boats back there, that's pretty cool. You got some guitars on the outside that hang as a display. Very, very nice idea indeed. And then you just got a continuation here of the elevator. And it's funny enough, there's nothing in this little room. I'm not sure if this was supposed to be something in here. It's not like a secret room. No, I can't remember. Let's take it off and find out. This right here is just like a window with the elevator on the other side. I've tried to open it up for you guys to see if there's anything inside. There's nothing inside there. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a secret thing inside there or not, or that represents something, but you know, you can, like they say, you can use your imagination and just have fun with it. What a fun little section, even though it's only basically one shop in there, but it's still pretty cool, I like it. Again, everything interconnects with each other. You got ladders and you got the elevator and you got like platforms where they can walk in and out of. Very, very cool stuff. We'll slide that out of the way. Table's getting full now. So this piece right here is the room above the tree. I love the roofing, look at that. It's just like those pieces that you get that you, they, just, they just literally flip them upside down and it becomes a roof. And we can take the roofing part off. They didn't cheapen out too, it looks really good inside. You have two beds in here, it's like two bunk beds. It's a little bit tight inside, but look inside, they're actually able to decorate it a little bit. They got like little vehicles, a little headboard display there, a little tiny, tiny poster inside there. And the TV there that says GDN. Good day, Ninjago. Small, but they actually made use of the space inside. That is really, really cool. I really appreciate them for doing that. That's really neat. Okay, we're gonna put this all back. And then we come to the final top section. Oh, this is gonna be a long video. I hope you guys are enjoying your food, whatever you're eating, drinking. I wish I was eating right now. I'm doing this for you guys. Check this out. Yeah, the final piece of the puzzle. And this is a sushi bar. Look at that, it's a real working sushi bar. Look, this thing is amazing. Yeah, when I put that together, I was like, oh, genius. And it's open air rooftop. That is, I didn't want it to stop. I wanted to keep going. I'm like, no, I wanted to make like three more stores on top of this. This is so good. You got the sushi bar there. You got the puffer fish. I love the puffer fish. You got like a squid looking design here on the front. This is cool, like decorative. More stickers. Sushi, sushi, sushi. I like the roofing. I like the curve here. That is really cool. And I love this final touch to the top. This little satellite looking piece. This thing is really neat. You know you can just like, however you want. I think it's two up, right? I move these two down, or it moves all the time. Got like a little radar satellite thingy inside. But they have a toilet here. Inside here, one of those Asian toilets, you can take the top off. You have a squatter. Yeah, I haven't seen those for a while. I think last time we saw that was in the urban city, the urban village. And then of course there's a secret compartment area. There's a chef hat in here and a mustache. So it's like a secret chamber or something to put your clothes inside. Whew! I can't believe we went through all that. Look at all that, look at that. We got 17 minifigures. Okay, so Lego has tons of minifigures for the set. And I thought I'd just keep it in lore with the theme and you know, because it's Ninjago. They do have names. So I'm gonna keep the names as is. And in the future, they have other sets like the dock. Hopefully they continue their journey. So here are the minifigures. Let's look at these guys. So the first one is Kai. Yeah, with this croissant. Going for some ninja training. Looks really good. And then you got Jamanakai. The villager with a little froggy on the back, on his backpack. And then you got Sally here, smart and quick. That's who she is. Apparently she knows how much a frog is worth. Don't ask why. Then we got Ivy Walker. She belongs in a tea house or whatever that room is. And she loves diamonds, I guess. And then we have the robot Sweep, the maintenance robot sweeping on duty. Then you got Conrad the fisherman, I guess. He's catching all the crabs and fish. And that's gotta be his boat. Then we got Severin Black, he's the chef of the crab restaurant. And how lucky is he? He can cook and uncook a crab. Uncook a crab, is that true? Then you got the comic book guy. This little guy looks so typical, like comic book. He almost looks like the Simpsons comic book guy, right? 
Mother Doomsday. Why is he called Mother Doomsday? Yeah, you just gotta read about him. Then we got a little kid here, Tommy. I love his shirt. Got the Ninjago Ninja on there. And we got this guy, his name is Guy. I do like the printing and the sunglasses. Then you got Juno, who looks like she runs the costume shop, I guess, the hat shop. She's holding a hat, umbrella, whatever that is. Then you got Lloyd Garmadon. He's able to get the photos of the Green Ninja. Is that because she is the Green Ninja? I don't know, I've gotta go back and watch the cartoon. You got the Green Ninja suit. That's actually a really cool suit, I like it. You got Misako, Lloyd's mother. She looks very young for a mother. And you got Jay. Jay's got a cool weapon, I like that weapon a lot. I think it's actually pretty cool. And then you got Officer Noonan, protecting the city. And last but not least, you got Shark Army Gunner, who's causing trouble in the city. And since he's a lone guy here, he's the last minifigure around, let's just call him Bodine1231, because Bodine, I have promised you before that I would get this done, and I'm so sorry I took forever. So, that's you. You're probably the only minifigure here that's named. There you go. You're the villain of the city. Hope you enjoy the video. I really do like the fact that they did include a boat and you know, the boat is simple, but hey, you get a boat that you can use for the city. Very cool. I love it even though it's small and it does have that very Asian look to it. It's a great little boat. So there you guys go. This is Lego's Ninjago City. Absolute massive build. I really, really love it. And stay tuned. I will get the Ninjago City dock. So you'll see that. I'll review it for you when it does arrive. Until next time, pick me up. Hiya, panga! What is this one for? Oh yeah, that's the chicken, that's the thing, okay. Okay, ready to fire some money out? See if I can do this really fast. I don't think it will go that fast. One, two, three. Oh, I broke it already. Oh, didn't work that fast. Try again. Ah, uh, you can't do it too fast or else it'll get stuck. It'll just like, yeah, don't do that. Let's put all the money back. That didn't work. Well, that was a fail. And there's a pair of scissors that came along with this too. Okay. Now I can't remember which way this one went. Did it go this way? I think, did it go this way? So dear, what do you think of the Ninjago City? I'm telling you right now, it's Ninjago, it's not Ninjago. Oh, come on, man, there's, there's, which variation is it? You guys tell me in the comments which one is the right way to say it. I have no idea. Thank you guys so much for liking this channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll bring you more, I promise you. So thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye now.